Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Let's do a challenge today. Let's do the Waka Waka challenge. This is a fairly annoying challenge, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so you start with Strange Attractor and Anti-Gravity Tears. Um, no item rooms, I believe. And basically... You're sucking enemies towards you. Oh, it's it's Waka Waka because it's like Pac-Man. Yep. That's pretty good, though. Um, that's actually very good. The Cancer Trinket increases your rate of fire. Uh, and it breaks the tier cap. And the thing is, um, so does uh, Anti-Gravity Tears. So we now have two things that both break the tier cap. So, like, potentially... This could be real good. And you can also just kind of play it like a normal run as well. And if you tap the fire button very quickly, you will fire. But you can also just, you know, do stuff like that. Uh, like that. We will uh, still have shops, just no item rooms. Got to be a little careful here. There we go. What's the card? Fool card could be useful. Let's go fight the boss. Uh, I already damaged the boss, unfortunately. Gotta be real careful. Can't believe I dodged that. Just be real cautious here. I'm in, like, full-blown concentration mode right now. Uh, we gotta make it to Mom's foot, which isn't too, too bad. But, we'll see. There we go. You're dead. Uh, of course I would get hit there. Uh, there is also a Tinted Rock up here to give us another Spirit Heart, help protect our HP. Uh, and there there are no... Let me just double check real quick. Um... Yeah, no item rooms. Okay, just wanted... I was checking the wiki real quick just to make sure there are no item rooms that I'm missing. Uh, and I was not, so we're good. Okay, so we have shops, we have bosses, but no actual item rooms, which is part of what makes the challenges a little bit more hard. Uh, there are some ways that you can kind of still abuse challenges, though. Um, for example, you can restart a run uh, by holding R... Uh, and you'll uh, you'll essentially restart, not not the same run, but you'll restart it with a new run. Uh, and if you hold R enough, eventually you'll get, uh, like, a library in the starting room, for example. Or you can basically wait until you get a cursed room that uh, has, like, a, a, a good item in it or something like that. Like, you can do things like that to kind of give yourself an advantage. I generally don't do that for some of like there are definitely some of the challenges i'm telling you right now some of the challenges i will be doing that we do like the ultra hard challenge yeah i'm holding r <laughs> uh some of the more like really brutal annoying challenges we will be holding r for um but this isn't one of them probably we'll see how it goes uh in the past this may have been one because this it, it, i mean keep in mind that with repentance um, Strange Attractor, which is the item that makes this challenge annoying, uh, got reworked a bit. So Strange Attractor is not nearly as bad now as it once was, uh, but it's still pretty bad. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, some of the challenges are pretty easy. Some of the challenges are really insanely difficult, and some of them are just kind of like, eh, whatever. Like, it's a good mix of different stuff, but all of the challenges do unlock things when you complete them for the first time. So we will ultimately want to do all of them at some point. So we'll do a little, you know, I, I'm not in a hurry to unlock everything. I mean, if you haven't already figured it out by the fact that this has been daily and we're on like 20 however many episodes. And uh, if you are unaware of my second channel, I have every intention of this being a pretty long term series. You know what? We're going to actually pop into the curse room here because I've got a fool card. Let's do it. See what we get. Nothing. That was a... <laughs> that 
Okay, I intend for this to be a very long-term series. Like, we may hit 100 episodes. We may hit 500 episodes. We may hit a 1,000 episodes. I don't know. I'm going to go until I just, like, don't feel like... The nice thing about Isaac, and I think I've talked about... Like, I, I, I've talked about this a little bit on Twitter. I don't know if I've talked about this in videos at all. But the amazing thing about roguelikes such as Isaac, when it comes to YouTube, is they're just so easy. <laughs> you know? They're so easy to record compared with, like, say, uh, like Minecraft, for example, right? Because, like, if you're doing a Minecraft video, you gotta, you gotta come up with a plan, you gotta plan out the build, you gotta gather, you gotta build the thing in creative mode first, in, like, a creative testing world, right? So you gotta plan out the build, you gotta gather the resources for the build, you gotta build the build, and then you gotta edit the time lapse of you building the build. And like, you know, for a 30 minute video, you spend like 8 hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, whatever, sometimes more, on that single video. Whereas with a roguelike, you're like, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna play a run. And that's the roguelike. I think this is worth picking up. The Book of Sin's fine. It's a, it's a consumable generator. You know, gives us a luck upgrade there, but it can spit out spirit hearts, it can spit out keys, it can spit out bombs. I think that's, uh, that's worth it. Let's keep going. You know, with the way that I'm editing the Isaac videos, with me, uh, specifically editing in all the item descriptions, it does take a little longer, but, like, if it weren't for that, if, if I, if I was not editing the, uh, the items descriptions into this, like, an average Isaac video would take me approximately an hour to make. Not counting the time where my computer is, like, rendering a video. Where I'm not actually, like, doing anything. I'm just sitting there waiting for my computer to finish stuff. <laughs> you know? Like, compare that to many other forms of content. And it's, like, it's so nice. It's just nice and chill and relaxing. It lets me focus on other things. With me editing item descriptions, it takes me, you know, considerably longer. It takes me a few hours to edit uh, an Isaac video. But even still, I like the idea of having this just be uh, being like a daily series. Maybe not until like the end of time, but like maybe also until the end of time. <laughs> We'll see. Let's just uh, continue our work here. We gotta be a little careful. The anti-gravity tiers do suck enemies towards you or towards them, I suppose, which is what makes this annoying. Cause you basically will end up with situations where the anti-gravity, or not the anti-gravity tiers, the, uh, the strange attractor tiers will basically suck the enemies that you're trying to dodge, like, into you. But if you're careful, you know, you're good. Honestly, though, I think this might just be the one. Like, we've gotten we've gotten pretty good RNG on this run. We got the, the Cancer Trinket nice and early, which is just super good. We have a, a you know, a decent space bar item. I wouldn't say it's like top, top tier, but it's definitely good. Um, it's a respectable space bar item and it can do things. You know, we're a little lacking in the damage front, but meh, could be worse. Yeah, not liking that much. There we go. This is what I mean about the damage, though. We're we're kind of at that point where we're like, yeah, we need we we need to be doing a little bit more DPS than we're doing right now, because we're kind of struggling uh, to kill enemies in a in a timely manner. But if we can get like a damage upgrade from this boss, and considering he drops a deal with the devil item, that's not uh, unrealistic. Okay, now he splits into two. Just be a little careful. Yay! Okay, yeah, brimstone. Yo! Yay! Okay, no deal for me on this floor. These guys are real annoying. 
Yo! <laughs> well, the run was in good shape until, like, this dude showed up. Little Brim. It's okay. Um, <laughs> it requires me to hold down the fire button, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, hmm. <laughs> well, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're just going to chill right here. Okay, that was maybe not the best decision in the world. It's fine. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to work our way over to the Cursed Room since we, we have no Spirit Hearts right now anyway. Let's go to the Cursed Room. Actually, let's go to the, uh, the Mob Trap Room first. See what's in there. And then we'll then we'll check cursed room afterwards. Okay, I don't think this is a trinket we want at all. No, I, I said it's not a trinket we want at all. You apparently misheard me. I like yeah. I, I honestly I'm thinking little brim is not the not a good get here. Because, like, you have to hold down fire, which means you have to generate the uh, things that basically suck enemies into you. You have to, like, I don't know. I'm not loving it. Um, we really just need to scrounge up some spirit hearts. Okay. Now maybe we're talking. Do we go brims? Do we go sulfur over book of sin? I mean, you take dark bum for sure. I think you take sulfur over book of sin. Yeah, that was real bad. Okay, then you grab these, and then uh, you move on with your life. Now we're, we're feeling okay, you know? It's still not, like, perfect or anything like that. But, all things considered... Could be worse. Uh, yeah, we'll let Dark Bum take that. Because Dark Bum can pay out with, uh, you know, Spirit Hearts or all sorts of stuff. Uh, let's use a bomb here. And a bomb here. Open the chest. Worth it, for sure. Now we can go to our shop. And we're basically looking for... None of this. Um, I guess I'll just buy a spirit heart. We're not in a hurry here. We don't need to complete boss rush or anything like that. We're just, we just, you know, we're focused on uh, surviving. That's all we want to do. Okay, so we got this over here. We're actually just going to pop one of these. Why it was a little dinky brimstone? Oh, because it's anti-gravity brimstone, of course. So it's like a delayed, which is just not nearly as good. If we're being entirely honest. I had forgotten about that particular aspect, but it's fine. Alright, blow you up. Did we ever finish our Skatol challenge thing there? I feel like we did. Careful. Can I suck the consumable over here? Nope. It was worth a shot. There we go. Grab the bombs. So I guess the boss is the, the complete opposite direction of where we're going. That's how it usually goes. <laughs> Typical. Careful. Just, there we go. Beautiful. Alright, uh, another spirit heart. 
quite lovely. Uh, not a secret room there, so... Let's see... Not a secret room over here either. I'll blow this up. We're basically just trying to get a little bit more money so that I can buy something in the shop when we find the shop. Uh, and we know that the shop basically has to be over this way. So let's throw down a bomb here, because this feels like a secret room for sure. And it is. So do a little of that. Pop up here. Careful. And we're basically going to let the little brim take these guys out from the other side of the room. Uh, up, up here. Okay, we can get into our curse room for free. That's nice. Careful. Kind of bad damage there, but like, whatever. Pop up here. We just need to check the curse room. Like, if we can, or we just need to find the, the shop. Because if we can get, like, the right item from the shop, you know, really amazing things could happen. We're going to use this here. Pop down one of those. Careful! Yeah. You fool. Paralysis. I mean, we found our shop, so that's good. I don't know that I'm a huge fan of brimstone uh, anti-gravity tears, but like, it's fine. Careful! Hey! Yep. Yeah. All right. Finally got. Ah, you, dude. See what I needed this to do was not be a greed fight. And the greed fight did not go well. <laughs> that was a really bad greed fight. We're still in one piece. We're not dead yet. But uh, that could have gone better, for sure. Let's see what we got in here. Guppy's head. Okay. Honestly, pretty decent item. Um, doesn't, uh, I, I think we still probably want to roll with, uh, Sulfur instead. Just because it gives us an answer to certain bosses and whatnot. But, you know, it's not terrible. Uh, and then I'm assuming that this right here is going to be our secret room. And sure enough, it is. And we got a Tears Down and an Amnesia Pill. 10 out of 10. All right, so here's what I want to do. There we go. Made it. This is like the worst possible boss for us to fight here. Well, maybe not the worst possible boss, but it's not a good one. Careful. Actually, maybe this is one of the better bosses because he's pretty slow. That went pretty well, all things considered. Uh, I will take the HP. And we'll pop in here. We got proper brimstone. Okay. Well, that means we don't need sulfur anymore. So, in that case... We could also take Book of Belial. Since we have not yet received any damage. Uh, upgrades of any kind. Or I could just go get Guppy's head. I think we're going to do that. We're going to go get Guppy's head. Uh, so pop over here. There we go. We'll just head back to that secret room. Or that uh, cursed room. Grab this. And this is it. We don't... We don't... Well, actually, isn't Brimstone... Hold on. Allow me to test something here. Oh, wait. I, I can't. I seem to remember if we double Brimstone, it becomes, like, pretty incredible. I don't have a way to test, though. But, like, it becomes, like, Super Brimstone or something like that. I think we have a couple of rooms left on this floor. 
Let's see if maybe we can test this and find out. Because I am curious. Temperance. Eh, stick with the moon card. I think we have like one more room left on this floor. Like over here? Yep. Okay. There we go. That's yours. So now, let's test this. If we fire a brimstone, it does that. Oh yeah. We're st we're sticking with uh we're sticking with sulfur. That's pretty sweet. I like it. Every three rooms we can get a super brimstone laser. Ooh, careful. There we go. All right, down to the next floor we go. We're looking okay. I mean, the run's pretty okay. Uh, a little scary in some ways, but I think we'll be fine. <laughs> like, this is going to be a really annoying one. Okay. These also are going to be incredibly annoying. These little yellow spiders. Okay, there we go. Pheromones, whatever. Who cares? Uh, this is probably worth it. Yeah, I'd say that was worth it. Got a, a rate of fire increase out of it. I uh, should use sulfur here. Last one. There we go. We'll stick with the uh, the cancer trinket, I think. All right. Yay! Be careful. I mean, anti-gravity tears is not great here. I gotta be honest. Like, brimstone anti-gravity tears. The, just the delay. The delay is is pretty rough, but. It's fine. Also, it appears that it only sucks them towards, like, the start of the beam, not the entire beam. If it sucked them towards the entire beam, that might be a little better. I don't know. Still looking for, like, a decent shop and stuff, though. Okay, that's whatever... Beautiful. There's our shop. What do we got? We got restock, which is highly whatever. Uh, maybe. I mean, then again, it might not be because if the next shop has um, like spirit hearts in it, for example, then restock might actually be pretty relevant because we could potentially buy like a whole bunch of those. So let's let's roll with uh, let's let's get restock. It's fine. Yeah, careful. All right. Hey, that's nice. A couple of spirit hearts from the Hierophant card. Hierophant, Hierophant. I never pronounced that right. People are like, you pronounced it wrong. I'm like, yeah, but like tarot cards are like <laughs> rubbish. So <laughs> like like sorry. I never put a whole lot of belief in in tarot cards. So if I didn't if I pronounce some of them incorrectly, it's because like my only experience with them comes from the binding of Isaac. <laughs> there we go. Yay! Yeah, that was bad. That was just <laughs> That was I dodged when I should have weaved. There we go, finally. All right, let's fight the boss. I mean, this seems to be going like, okay. There we go. 
Get another rate of fire increase, which is nice. Health upgrade, which is actually very timely. And a goat head and a PhD. Okay. Uh, yes. I will take PhD. I will pop that to get a damage upgrade. And I'm going to say no to goat head, because I'm not paying that much for goat head. Like, I, I can't afford to pay three spirit hearts. So that we can get a deal that doesn't even matter. Now that I think about it, Paralysis. it doesn't actually even matter. Paralysis there is really nice, though. Thanks to false PhD, Paralysis turns into a free black heart. And since there's no enemies in the room, like, we're good. Ooh, almost, I almost spiked myself. That would have been embarrassing. Uh, okay, I think there's also a fairly good chance that right here is our secret room, since it's, nope, not there. Okay, never mind. All right, let's go for the ball. Let's uh, let's head down to the final floor. Runs in pretty good shape, honestly. We got a, a reasonable amount of HP. We got good damage, especially with uh, brimstone and everything. So like, we can't really complain as far as uh, you know, as far as waka waka challenges go. This is probably the easiest one I've had ever. Could be so much worse. There we go. And a little bit more. We got another speed down. I don't think I can afford to take a second speed down. I would love to have the damage upgrade that we would get from false PhD, but like our speed's already below where I'd like it to be. Like speed is one of those stats that like you don't necessarily need to have insanely high speed. But if it's below, say, like, eh, realistically, if it's below, like, 1.3 at a certain point in the game, you're like, man, I really wish I had some speed. But if it's below, like, 8, like, you just die. Because you can't dodge fast enough. So we're, like, right on the border of where I'm willing to go. Any lower than that, and I'm like, nah, it, it ain't worth it. It will result in our untimely demise. Uh, I am not interested in rerolling this run or uh, anything else on this floor, so I'm just going to leave that behind. Actually, no, you know what? We got nine keys. Who knows? Maybe this will be like a, hey, there's a bunch of you. We can reroll the items and potentially turn them into spirit hearts. No, it's a full run, full run reroll. Uh, I am not interested in that. We're trying to beat a challenge here. Uh, I will, however, pop a hermit card to get me into the shop for free, which worked out pretty well. We'll take car battery, and then we're basically just going to spend the rest of our money on uh, spirit hearts, which I'd say, honestly, worth it. Blow this up. What do we got? All right. It's whatever. Saved us a bunch of time, though. Probably got us a lot closer to the boss, I would imagine. Uh, this feels like a secret room to me. It is. Okay. So our boss is gotta be like any minute now. We've gotta be getting real close. Um, blow you up as well. Take that. Um, let's go until we find our boss. There's our boss. Okay. So here's my plan. I'm going to spend a key to get a single penny. I'm going to spend a bomb to get a single penny. We're going to return to the shop, and hopefully we're going to be able to buy two spirit hearts with this. One. Oh, it goes up to 15 cents. I was hoping it would go up to 13. It's worth a shot. All right, anyway. Although, nah, this is fine. Let's just go. We've got tons of HP. We just need to beat one boss. We've got uh, Brimstone. We have Sulfur with Car Battery. Like, we, we should be fine. Let's just do it. And then this will unlock uh, a fantastic item called Death's Touch, which is 
Awesome. So pop brimstone. And we just basically start dropping brimstone beams. Like, as soon as they pop up. There we go. Dusted. So we've got the box. Highly whatever. Amnesia, which would telepill. Okay, thankfully telepills us to the same place. And out of curiosity, let's just see what was in this last deal. Okay, some decent stuff. You got a Dark Judas, you got a Pentagram. Both of those pretty respectable. And then, uh, you know what? We take the trophy, we call it a win, and we're happy about unlocking Death's Touch. Guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.